Hey, hey, welcome back to MCOC Noxie, the master of mediocre gameplay. This is going to be War 2 of Season 34. Torch, Mag's Ghost have been banned by our opponent. Those are good bans. Let's take a look at the field on Path 1. That's going to be Blade, probably a SIG 200 five-star Blade there. Got an Immortal Hulk. I'm not going to be taking that Auk. I'm not going to be taking that CGR or that Nick or that Doom. I don't think any of those are going to be my fights. Uh, and then I've got uh, Hulk Rags, which is easy. And then a Venom the Duck, which I've never fought. And then I think I'm going to take that Nimrod and maybe that Gilly 29 and maybe that Dragon Man. Let's see if I if I get to it in time. During these fights, uh, I was on vacation, so timing was always a little sporadic. So here we've got this uh, five-star blade. Probably like me, you fought this guy a trillion times very recently in the uh, Eternity of Pain side event. A much, much more difficult blade than a little five-star uh, on a path here. So Warlock is the direct answer for this blade. I've, I think I extremely lightly boost. Um, I'm just not worried about this fight at all. You know, Blade's damage comes from bleeds. Warlock doesn't bleed. And then I forgot to record the fight. So here, here's what you need to know about that fight. I took no hits. That amount of damage that I have right there is all Blade did. So it's just a little bit of lock damage. Didn't have to heal back up. Just went into this next fight. <laughs> I think, guys, like I said, I was on vacation. I think one of my kids came into the, to the hotel room and, and needed me. And I just thought I was recording when I went back in and wasn't. And aced the fight, which is the good news. Uh, and so now we're on to Hulk, who is draining himself with his healing. So that's good. Boy, people love, love, love putting Immortal Hulk on this path. And it's just not difficult. I understand, and I've said this before, but his immortality is kind of the only tricky point. Like when he goes immortal, you just got to beware. And, and it just makes the fight a little longer. Um, but if you can wait it out, he does go unblockable for a few seconds. Um, but just, you know, play smart. Play careful, play smart, you'll be okay. I honestly don't remember how smart I play here. <laughs> this is a few days ago. So now he is unblockable. Oh, 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 there goes indestructible. Nice, good job. Good job, me, just being a knucklehead, talking about how easy it is, and then eating a combo right to the mug. Uh, I think I used my special one here, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, get out of my face. I was upset. I would played the fight perfectly until that point, and then just wasn't paying close enough attention on when his, uh, when his immortality was going to get dangerous. But that's okay, that fight's gone. I have no problem using uh, some some potions to heal back up. So here we've got a Hulk Ragnarok. Easy, easy, easy fight. Once again, this will be a Warlock fight. If I haven't said it yet, I've got Cable for the synergy with Warlock. Uh, if you don't know this, like I, our Cable, uh, excuse me, Warlock is the best champion for Path 1 right now. And, um, and Cable allows Warlock to um, increase his infections rapidly. Like, 50, up to 50% more rapidly uh, than without Cable on the team. And since Warlock is my main path fighter, um, you know, having Cable there is awesome. Now, when I also bring Warlock, that's, it's just a, an incredible synergy team because Cable blows up uh, Apoc and Warlock, and then having Apoc on the team makes Cable a monster. So Cable isn't really an option for any fights because Apocalypse isn't on the roster today. Um, but... Oh man, when you get those three together, it is something crazy. It's a great synergy team. Down goes Hulk Cracker, just like you expected. No hits taken, no threat really. <laughs> Easy breezy. So now we have Venom the Duck, and I haven't fought Venom the Duck in war ever. Ever. And so I was trying to figure out, I know he procs a lot of buffs if the fight goes on and on, um, but I don't know if he's going to be a threat in a way that I wasn't foreseeing. Uh, you know, that happens occasionally where you're like, oh, now I get it. I see why this 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 champ is on this path or this node in particular. Uh, and so I was a little concerned, as you're going to see. Um, man, this just goes just fine if I remember correctly. This is no, there's nothing to this. I did take one hit out of SP1 just because I was lazy and didn't fully dex. Or didn't effectively dex. You'll never hear me blame inputs unless the sky is falling. Like, I, I, I watch these great players, and they are so much better than me. And they talk about inputs missing all the time. And like, come on, man, you just you're just not perfect. It's okay. You're not perfect. It's okay. Um, 
So yeah, that fight was cheesy. Easy, easy breezy. And so now we have Nimrod, which is what Nebula's for. And man, this is just like my favorite fight. Because Nimrod is so hard. Like Nimrod is a tough fight, especially Nimrod on this on this node. Is he's a booger. Like he is tough. He's a hoss. And then Nebula just kind of goes, oh, you teddy bear. Like, like, he is a tough, tough dude. And you get Nebula past her, there we go. So she's past her 5 amp charges. And, um, and man, she just giggles at, at, uh, at Nimrod, which is awesome, man. It's, it's great to have a counter that makes a really tough fight into a laughable fight. Those are like my favorite kind of champs to bring. You know, Warlock is the answer for most fights, so I'm just gonna take this special one on the block. You know, Warlock is, is the answer to most fights on Path 1, but I love champs that, that cheese fights like, like Nebula does here with Nimrod. And really any robot, right? Any robot, get her past by the amp charges, so now I've got the 20 amp charges. So the trick is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Bop, 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 bop. Look, watch that health drain. And there it goes. Uh, so there we go. Uh, like I said, um, I forgot to record that blade fight, but it was perfect. And, uh, and so this war for me was perfect. War number two was a great showing for me. Felt good. It just turns out that uh, our alliance just dropped the ball in a huge way. Not This war wasn't even close. So thanks for tuning in. <laughs> um, I hope to see you in War 3. Y'all have a good one. Bye.